Hello and God bless you and thank you for joining me today in sharing with you the Word of God. For those that don't know, as I said previously, I come from a Baptist background. I was raised in the Baptist Church. And in the Baptist Church, we use the King James Holy Bible, and that is the Bible I will be reading out of and sharing from. I know there's other versions and people like those, and there's nothing wrong with that, but my one that I went to theology school and learned with was the King James too. So my mind thinks in that context, and I really enjoy the old English of the King James. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, I shall share this verse with you again because it's going to be the topic today of doing the acts of God, the acts that Jesus did. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It's very important, as I shared yesterday, to read the Holy Bible because within that, it's, it builds our faith. It gives us a knowledge of what is and it helps us to act regardless of circumstances and situation and i also mentioned to you yesterday that in colossians 127 we have christ in us the hope of glory christ in you we are now body soul and spirit being so with that said, the works that Jesus Christ did, we can do too, but greater than these can we do because I go unto my Father. In John 14, 12, I'm going to be, re be reading there, 12 through 14. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than these, because I go unto my Father. What works do you want to do? The works he's talking about is ministering to others, you know, such as making the blind see, making the lame to walk, making the sick heal being able to minister and see the results that Jesus Christ did. Verse 13, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. That will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now, sign, miracles, and wonders are the acts of God in manifestation by us speaking it into being. In the Holy Bible, it tells us to call those things that be not as though they were. As though they were in verse 14. If you shall ask anything in my name, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will do it. I will do it. So you need breakthroughs. You need money. You need family relationships restored. You need a home. You need a car. Whatever you need. Pray. Pray. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, help me receive what I need. God, thank you. John, Mary, and Sally, they need unity within their family start praying start seeing god work and we do this with words we speak things into being remember our thoughts are powerful because thoughts become things we it's very very important that we thank god's word for those that don't know me my name is pastor richard hunt i'm blessed to be here with you I've been an evangelist. I could still consider myself that once you are an evangelist, you still have it in your heart. And I love sharing the word of God with other people. 
And now what I would like to do, and that's why I took on this YouTube channel. A friend encouraged me to do this, to sh start sharing the Holy Bible in the YouTube. So here I am today with you, and I thank you, thank you so much for joining. Please like and subscribe to my channel because this will give me the outlet to grow my church and do great, greater, 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 greater works. So I want to do evangelizing again, get out there and preach to the nations. Now, Acts chapter 3, verse 1 through 8, I would like to read. Now, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour hour a time of prayer and a certain man lame came from his mother's womb was carried up whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that enter into the temple he was a beggar because he could not work because he was lame who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an alm and Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed, expecting to receive something out of, from them, of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name, in the name, in the power of attorney that we have as Christ, Christians as believers of Nazareth rise up and walk and what happened and he took him and Peter took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with him to the temple walking and leaping and praising God that was a miraculous miracle now, I would have been walking and leaping and praising God. And that's what I'm talking about. God can work within us to do the impossible if we will just only, only if we will walk out in his power, in his love, and act and do and make it happen, okay? But before I go today, I would like to talk to you about my worn out book. The Wonderful Name of Jesus by E. W. Kenyon. And on this is has the book that has changed the prayer life of multitude. My thinking in doing this sermon is I want to reach out to millions, billions of people. I want to see people touch, moved, and aspire. Please share my YouTube channel with people. Please ask them to subscribe and like. And then what I would like to do is, I don't know if you've ever been taught this. I, it, it's amazing. You got to learn this. Uh, the why of this book, okay, is one of the heading. Then this book came. Prayer, a business proposition. But what I want to do is cover the first chapter of why this book. Several years ago, I was holding a meeting in a city in Tennessee. One afternoon while giving a, an address on the name of Jesus Christ, a lot of lawyer interrupted me asking, do you mean to say that Jesus gave us the power of attorney get that do you know what the power of attorney is i'm going to share that with you in a moment the legal right to use his name the acts we do when we pray if we rely on ourselves guess what's going to happen silch silch nothing happens by the name of pastor richard nothing what happens is the name of jesus christ I said to him, brother, you are a lawyer, and I am a layman. I'm a pastor. Tell me, did Jesus give us the power of attorney? 
he said, if language means anything, then Jesus gave to us the power of eternity. He answered, it depends, okay, and then he said, then I asked, what is the value of this power of eternity? He answered, it depends upon how much there is be back Back at how much authority, how much power this name represents. Then I began to, the search to find out how much power and authority Jesus had. What I would like to say is give you, a, give you an example of this. As you read Exodus, if you really read about Moses, if you read before that about Joseph, Joseph was sold into slavery. He ended up interpreting the king of Egypt's dream. He got a promotion for doing that. He became second in command of Egypt. The king took off his signet with ring. He gave it to Joseph and said, you are second in command of this nation. That's the way it is with Jesus Christ and the power of turning. You are second in command. The works that Jesus Christ did, you can do. You are now in the kingdom. You have authority you have power. Use it today. Start praying for yourself. Start seeing what happens. Start praying for me. Start praying for your friends. Start praying for your family. Start praying for things to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of eternity. Use that name for er anything and everything. God, thank you for a great day today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, thank you for multiplying my wealth. God, thank you for my health improving. Thank you for me as I read the Holy Bible that you've given me understanding. God, thank you for wisdom. I lack wisdom. Whatever you want, pray, pray, pray. My goal is to help you build your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and empower you to act on this. And what I'll do as of tomorrow, I'll send you put down below my email address. And if you have things you want to pray for, send me an email. Say, Pastor Rich, please pray for me on this. And I'll do it. And I would like to thank you again for joining me in this service, the sermon. And God bless you and have a rich day in the Lord, walking and leaping and praising God. And again, please subscribe to my channel. God bless you. Bye-bye.